Hey, I'm still here. What's going on, guys? Boy, Ooze, and we, of course, are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? So, yeah, I've been pretty busy, as you might have been already been able to tell, uh, just off of the uploads, or if you're not, you know, following me everywhere else which you probably should because that's kind of the best way to keep in touch with me with everything that i am going on with you guys probably have like the most worst impression of me as it is right now because if you go off of this channel then you probably think that like i'm being very neglectful towards you guys but realistically there is my video game channel there's my twitch then there's my Discord, and then all of the easiest and fastest ways that I do give you guys real-time updates in regards to all the projects and whatnot that I am, you know, involved with will be through my Discord, like I just said, and my Twitter. So if you guys take the take a second to follow me on, you know, all of those platforms, and I would appreciate it. Not to you know obviously boost my own numbers and on those respective platforms, but so that you guys can hack actually have. A better idea as to where i'm at pretty much in life let's get on to why you came to watch this video so we have the new chapter that released um last week at this point chapter 78 is gas's wish now this is something that i have been alluding to and i've pretty much called and uh if you're listening to the last episode of, of the full power podcast episode 32 you'll notice that we didn't actually get a chance to talk about this chapter because with the timing of this release versus when we recorded and then obviously released the new episode it didn't align this time around but don't worry we will get uh my thoughts and brother uch's thoughts on the next episode um coming out this week so hopefully you guys are staying tuned with that and uh let's get right so of course my reaction portion to this chapter i will see your wish fulfilled guys hmm so uh is it confirmed our plans all rely on you you know that yeah yes i know okay so it really does seem like uh i, I was right i mean so far it, it's like they're putting all their eggs in the gas basket damn that definitely stinks and they are going to pretty much save this wish or spend this wish on gas in becoming possibly the strongest in the universe and i'm sure that ever since gas lost to bardock which i'm sure we will at some point see or get confirmation from you know bardock or gas himself later on in this maybe within this chapter or you know in the story in this arc i'm sure that gas ever since then was probably training super hard and rigorous to eventually possibly uh get his revenge fulfilled so let's keep going <laughs> granola is still tripping out how can this be did he win did bardock defeat gas he sure did that's how we survived hey confirmation let's get it bardock was a low class warrior as far as i know was gas really that weak nope just the opposite gas was very strong but what's this the sky has grown dark what the oh they're holding off on what I yo i'm telling you this man went super saiyan i'm telling you he went through the sand. There's no way he didn't. Oh, the sky's grown dark. What the? It's like when we call Shenlong. It can't be. Uh -huh. You who have collected two Dragon Balls, state your wish. Wow, did he make the wish already? That was quick. Hey, what's that enormous power signature? Don't know, but it's headed our way. Oh, snap. Now presenting Gas, the actual strongest warrior in the universe. I called it. How you doing? My name's Uchi, uh, Dragon Ball expert. <laughs> Damn, yo, he got a new, like, he looks completely new. That's OD. He actually kind of looks fire, I'm not gonna lie. This is, like, the newest, latest version of Kid Buu with hair. This is actually OD. I hope he gets added into, like, a fighting game or something at some point. Oh, yo, he got finger beans. Damn it, Dodge. Oh, he's just cutting up the freaking planet in half right now. Damn, he's, like, testing out his powers, probably. Oh, my God, yo, he impaled Granola. Granola. At last, I am free to kill you. Whoa. Yo, with a snap of a finger, he put like weighted blocks on Goku. What? You must be that Saiyan son. Oh, 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 it's about to go down. I feel like Gas has this ability to just summon weapons. And that is godlike. I don't think we've seen a character like this in Dragon Ball ever. And yeah, I can't think of anybody that's ever been able to do that. And, th and then just his whole look... And how he's like carrying himself right now is OD, right? Like he's, he, he just summoned an axe. Ooh, Dex him in the face. But yo, Granola still, he's still trying to fight back, but he's getting his shit rocked. 
You idiot. Cass's wish came after yours, which makes him stronger. Duh. It's crazy how I really saw this coming. Like, that's that's OD. Please save Granola for me. Goku goes, sure. I'll do what I can. Just like Goku would. All right, here we go. We're, getting, we're going into flashback territory. We see little mini Granola shooting hella targets. Yo, it's always the targets in, in the woods. It's like awesome Itachi stuff right now. But Naito says, I don't even live up to to being an Amekian. Mm. Can't even manage to restore your energy. Ah, uh, Vegeta, don't you have another sense of being? <laughs> <laughs> it always comes down to this. All right, they're getting, yo, Granola is getting beat up. I'll try to hold my own in the meantime. Eat it as soon as you find it. Vegeta goes, really? He goes, only fair. I ate the first one, remember? Dude, I don't eat, I literally, it's been, it, it, it feels like this arc has been so long, but realistically, it's only been like maybe like around a year long so far. I don't even remember Goku ever eating a freaking sense of bean during this arc, but okay, sure. Ooh, yo, yo, gas is OD, yo. He just whipped out like a freaking like energy sword spike looking John, like a Digimon out here. Look, Vegeta's gone. What? Like he found it. It should be in here. Yes, it's safe. Is Vegeta not gonna eat it? <sighs> Goku's getting his shit rocked. He's getting kicked back. He's in base form. Is he gonna give it to Granola? Okay, that's something I wasn't expecting. Okay, that's fine. Rise and shine, Granola. It will restore your energy. Now eat it. You had something like that all along? Eating it could have helped you beat me and take the coward's way out? Never. He's like, now eat the freaking bean and rejoin the fight. Your revenge must be satisfied, no? So settle this grudge with your own strength. Ooh, okay. Bravo, Vegeta. Bravo. So as far as this chapter is concerned, I really would like to say that even with it being very predictable in, you know, the big prediction that I had that I've been talking about and pretty much hyping up for the longest time now, with gas being the one that would be wished the next strongest in the universe. I wonder now what the cost would have been. I wonder if Elik is as devious as he is and he wished that it was not his own life that he wished to, I guess, decrease by half in order for Gas to gain that power. But I wonder if Gas was aware that if such a wish was made, that he would lose half of his life as a result of that. And I also kind of wonder how strong Gas would have been without that wish. Because it did seem like he was a very strong being as it is. But it don't really seem like we're ever going to really know. And it is kind of nice that they teased that something peculiar happened with the fight between Bardock and himself when Manito was explaining the story. And like I said, I really do feel like even if he didn't go Super Saiyan, I, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, that, that would be kind of nice, right? If, if Bardock did do something where it was like only in front of them. And honestly, that it wouldn't make sense for something along those lines to happen. But what if it was something that it was very unique to the Saiyans because our boy Bardock at that point in time did have a tail. If you've been paying attention to all of the speculation and all of my theory crafting and just way of thinking with previous videos and previous episodes of a Full Power Podcast, if you haven't, I highly recommend you go back and check out exactly what I'm referring to. But to just save you some time, I will give you a head start. What if Bardock went primal instinct what if he showed us a form of power that utilized the innate saiyan strength that basically gets tapped into via the ozarus that they have access to their great ape states what if something like that was to happen and honestly if it's not broly that was the first one i would take bardock as our next best candidate for that to take place now of course that is a huge stretch or that's a pretty big thing to think of or predict right now but i mean listen man i'm shooting for the fences when it comes to anything that we may not see coming because they're still even as predictable as they're being they're giving us some things that aren't necessarily as predictable which makes this arc a little bit more enjoyable to enjoy and i am i always look forward to these chapters but like i've been definitely saying for many 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 years is that i don't want dragon ball to get to the point where it gets so predictable and so cookie cutter that it is just a meme of itself and it just you know is a very repetitious kind of 
show and the only reason why it's around is just to print more money when you know it doesn't really have to be necessarily but it's be it's so popular that it, it is here in the format that it is but with all that in mind that's those are the thoughts that i will leave with you guys outside of obviously i did enjoy it and i did think that it was a very good chapter overall i'm gonna talk more about this in depth with my man brother ooch on the full power podcast so i'm hoping you guys all that are checking this video out please go ahead and check out the full power podcast whether it's right here on youtube or if it's on spotify or google wherever you might listen to your podcast because it's been booming and the, the podcast actually has been evolving from not just being a dragon ball centric podcast but it's kind of changing into being more broadened and generalized into kind of talking about whatever we realistically want to talk about but there's a heavy emphasis on dragon ball anime and we recently talked about spider-man so guys i hope you guys take care of yourselves may the power protect keep it locked loaded right here on this channel i hope to see you guys on the full power podcast next uh for this next coming episode stay safe stay clean stay inside i will see you guys